Hello guys. Today we are going to configure IPv6 addressing on Cisco Packet Tracer. So in our last video we have config configured IPv4 address and uh, we have taken 5 to 6 network and we have configured PCs after that routers. So same as IPv4 we have to work on IPv6. In our theory part we have discussed about IPv6 address is 128 bit and it is represented by a column okay so here we have five networks first network second network third network fourth and fifth network okay so i need to take ipv6 address so here i can choose 2001 colon 10 double colon slash 96 I'm just taking an example. So I'm taking 2001. So 96 represents networks and 32 bits are the host. So here our second network is 20 double colon slash 96. 2001 30 double colon slash 96. 2001 40 double colon slash 96. And at last... this one so i have five network so how what how i will configure it i will provide it 10 double colon 1 ip 10 double colon 2 ip 20 double colon 1 2 30 double colon 1 2 and the gateway should be any f0 by 0 should be configured with 2001 10 double colon 3 20 double colon 3 and 30 double colon 3 and after that the upper network WAN links 40 double colon 1, 40 double colon 2, 50 double colon 1 and 50 double colon 2. So I will configure it like this. Okay. So I will move to my PC configuration part. Okay. So on the PC first I will erase this. On PC, in IPv6 configuration, I can give IP address 2001 colon 10 double colon 1 and slash 96. This is known as link local address. So gateway should be 10003. So double colon represents all zeros, group of zeros. So here I am going to represent... 10 double colon 2 slash 96 and 10 double colon 3. The second network, same as 10, but here I will choose network 20 double colon 1, 96, 3. 20 double colon 2. So 2001 I have taken just for private IP address. 2 96 3 and last thirty double column one slash ninety six and two thousand one sorry two thousand one thirty double column three okay so now it's time to configure router. So if you want to write, then you can use sticky notes here. Like these. This is your 10 double column 3. Okay. I will put my keyboard here. That's why it is easy for me. And uh, after that, this is 20 double column 3. This is 30 double column 3. So upper network 2001 40 double column 1 I have to configure first I will write it that you will easily understand in my video 50 double column 1 50 double column 2 so I'm click on this router CLI Okay, in real router, you have to use console cable and PC, but on Cisco Pack Addresser, you can directly click in CLI. Okay, so when you are going to configure IPv6 addressing, okay, 
so one thing you have to be clear in your mind that ipv6 unicast routing should be there the command ipv6 unicast routing you have to put this command because uh, if you don't use this command then you are able to give ip address to router but you are not able to give for uh, routing so interface f is 0 by 0 ipv6 address 2001 10 double column 3 slash 96 no shutdown exit interface serial 0 slash 0 it is same as we have configured ipv4 address but the address is changed 40 double column 1 slash 96 no shutdown so if you want to save all the configuration just put do right here and do show history you can use to see the command that you have used on this okay so next on route 2 here no enable config same as ipv6 unicast routing fa0 by 0 IPv6 address 2001 20 double column 3 slash 96 which is the gateway for your LAN and serial 00 IPv6 address 40 double column 2 this this link is connected to router 1 the first one okay and serial 001 is for 50 here it is sorry 5001 and no shirt do right so the, our second router is also configured now move on to third router no enable config like these basic commands enable configuration you have to use every time ipv6 unicast routing interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 the gateway of this network is 30 double column 3 slash 96 no shutdown and exit interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 address and uh, 2001 50 double column 2 slash 96 no shutdown and do right okay so every router is configured and after that you can check the basic commands show ipv6 interface brief show ipv6 interface brief and uh, in that you can see fast ethernet is up and ip address is 2001 10 double column 3 and serial interface ip is 2001 40 double column 1 Okay, same as show IPv6 root. In show IPv6 root, C stands for direct network. So 10 and 40 are your direct network and L stands for local. Like it will represent your own IP address but with slash 128. Okay, so this was the configuration of IPv6 addressing. Thank you.